Well, we're just about to roll them out. So Sunday, this Sunday is the official day that we're we're going to roll out the new uniforms and begin to wear them. But it's been a process over uh, the last six months to get. But but seriously, how long yeah. has it been since you've had a uniform redesign? Well, uh, really, I mean Sunday's the first day that we'll roll it out. Okay. So not before I'm I'm just wearing this today to okay. talk, talk to media. But sure. Sunday is when we'll roll it out. We have. Um, I should correct myself there. We have been allowing our deputies and detention officers to wear the new pants because they were so close in comparison to what the look was of the older pant. Um, but it was so it's so much more comfortable and reasonable uh, to allow our folks to move away from polyester and, and begin to wear something that's much more comfortable. Um, but we wanted to make sure that we rolled it out correctly and, 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 and rolled it out to our community through the media before we just started wearing them. So that's what we're doing today. But um, it's been a long time coming. I know our staff has been waiting for this, not just during this administration, but previous administrations. It's been discussed with, with sheriffs for uh, many, many years. Mm -hmm. So uh, Now, why, why are these uniforms so much more comfortable than the old ones? Well, it's the material. You know, um, um, the contrast in color is not much. You know, we're going from a very dark brown to a black shirt, um, but it's the material that really counts. This, this new material is very light. You know, I, I equate it to what people might think of as what a runner would wear, that breathable, uh, absorbent type material. Um, that's what we'll be able to start wearing with our uniforms in this new uniform change. And, and the old uniform is polyester pants and a wool blend shirt. And so to stand out in the heat in, in any or in any conditions, it can be very uncomfortable. The material is restrictive where this new material is flexible and, and uh, just much, much more comfortable. Now, you, you also have, uh, if you will, I don't want to use the Batman term, but a new utility belt, basically, uh, that's, that's better designed, more... Um, mm -hmm. Ergon, ergon, er, ergonomically friendly is that right? It, you know that's true, and that that's not something new, Peter. That's uh, we the the nylon belt that I'm wearing today is is uh, something that our patrol deputies have been able to wear for for years, and it's much more lighter material than the leather basket weave belt that people might think of the traditional um, police belt. Um, so that's been really beneficial. What people will see in late August is our deputies being allowed to wear an external carrier vest. So that's the ballistic vest that we all wear. Um, the ones that we've always worn are, are um, a vest that goes underneath the uniform, of course. So deputies will have the option of wearing a ballistic vest that's called an external carrier. And that's very, very beneficial health-wise to our deputies who might have back problems. Um, the gun belt that we all wear, have worn for law enforcement officers have worn for decades. Um, they're beginning to see that it contributes to quite a few back injuries and back pains and hip problems and things like that. So this new external carrier will allow some of that equipment to come off of the hip and off of the belt and onto the external vest. Um, so it just displaces some of that weight. Uh, but it's also more comfortable as well. Um, the external carrier will be the same color and look as our uniforms that you see today. So when they put one on, uh, community, our intentions are the community members don't notice the difference. We have the traditional shoulder patches, um, the badge, and the name on the shirts. will look. Uh, the name looks a little bit different because it's embroidered. It's not a name plate. Uh, but again, when they put that external carrier on, uh, the color is the same. The material is similar, so it, it, we hope that people don't notice a big change. It's, and I'll just be very clear: it, it's important for us that we don't look militarized. Um, that's something that, and, and frankly, one of the reasons it took so long to roll this out. I think Sheriff McDermott wanted to take some time to make sure that we did this right, and that um, we maintain a very professional uh, look in our uniforms. Um, so again. Uh, we looked at other agencies. We looked at Cascade County, who wears a polo shirt. I mean, that's sort of where we were headed in the beginning. But um, uh, not to say anything negative about the uniforms, mm -hmm. but we wanted to make sure that, that it was the look of a uniform. And so this new uniform, you'll see, has a stand-up collar, and the patches are on it. And all that, so. so basically what I hear you saying is, is you want your uniform to, to uh, retain the authority of a law enforcement personnel, right? Yeah. While still maintaining a community oriented presence rather than military. Yes, absolutely. And you know, we the the uniform is so recognizable by 
uh, the community members, and, and I'll say that, that they recognize a law enforcement officer, and that's obviously what we want to maintain. But any officer will tell you that uh, when you ask somebody who um, had dealt with a police officer in the past, you say, well, what agency were they from? And they typically don't know. Well, what color was their uniform? Well, I don't know. You know, so I, we really don't know how much impact this will have on the opinions of the community. But I, I'll say again, it was very important that we just maintain a very professional police appearance. Now, let me ask you this. About, about uh, how are these paid for? Is this, this is the, obviously, everybody has to have a uniform. Sure. So uh, do you folks have to buy your own, or how does that work? Well, our uniform, each deputy has a uniform allowance. Each detention officer has a uniform allowance, and that's ne negotiated through their contracts. Uh, to roll out a new uniform like this is a, a big project, and, of course, money plays into it. Um, there's a couple of options that we had to look at in the beginning, which was to force that cost onto the employees, which we didn't want to do. Um, although I'll tell you, they were all happy to pay for it just to get a, a, a new uniform. But um, we also had to look at how to fit that into our budget and pay for that total cost. And so um, people need to realize this isn't just for deputies, it's for our detention officers as well. And we have over 100 detention officers. Um, it's in the na it fluctuates, but it's in the neighborhood of 115 detention officers uh, on our staff. So big project, a big dollar amount, um, and it ended up being in the neighborhood of... Um, $66,000 somewhere in that neighborhood to make this changeover. It's a significant amount of money. So uh, the challenge definitely was going to be, very in the beginning, to come up with that money within an already very tight sheriff's budget. So uh, that's as discussions were had, um, that's when uh, Neptune Aviation stepped forward and offered to uh, foot the bill for it. So it, it's great that no taxpayer dollars were, were uh, needed to do this changeover. The employees are extremely excited, and so it's, it's kind of a win-win for us. We're very excited about it.